Summer Triptych after Eduardo C. Corral. 1. July has a strange habit of calling you out of your skin. You are nameless here, and it is comforting. Something about your body reminds him of funerals, but he ignores it. You want him more because of this. Your best friend once tells you to respect the blue-gray ratio while texting him. Laughter drowns out the fifth voicemail your mother has left you today. On the empty express queue to his apartment, you realize traveling this late means sunrise will not meet you alone again, too. The last two men you've slept with recognize the blue of chlorine faster than the scent of their grandmothers. They are surprised to learn you do not swim. You want to tell them a lifetime spent gargling flood water prepares you for much more treacherous bodies. You cannot afford to love another ghost unwilling to memorize your phone number. You hold on too tightly to the hollow throats of men who echo you beautiful. Instead, you rupture your mouth into a smile. It has enough helpless to make him love you. Meanwhile, the women in your family find time between dinner and dying to be proud. Three. On a night you are unwilling to leave, your father will come to you in a dream. He will say that your tongue is only good for claiming borrowed things, that your birthright will always outrun you. Before you wake up, you will remember all of your hope, all of your heroes die trying to save themselves too. Thank you. Of all heartthrobs and the most perfect human being I know, Hunter Sampson. Ah.